What up? This is Rama Screen. And John from The Real Talk. <laughs> That's right. This is a collabo. Yep. Much <laughs> anticipated. <laughs> That's right. Oh my god. And this is a joint video review of the yes. new Star Wars movie, Solo, A Star Wars Solo. Story. Yep. yep. And this is about uh, Han Solo when he is way older. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, younger, younger. This is a sequel. <laughs> so so uh, that's funny. Though. I like that. Uh, so this is a story about... Uh, let me give you the plot synopsis real quick. Uh, younger Han Solo set probably, I want to say, a few years before the rebellion starts, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. And so this is about him finding his way in life and trying to fit in with this group of um, renegades... Uh, led by Woody Harrelson's character, Tobias. And so, and then all along, Han Solo wants to be the greatest pilot ever, right? That's his dream. So we see that evolution, and we also see how he gets his blaster, how he gets, you know, to meet Chewie, Chewbacca. And so this is basically a behind the scenes of how Han Solo uh, eventually and ultimately becomes iconic, the most, you know, yeah. awesome smuggler pilot ever. Um, so that's basically the plot synopsis. Is that correct, John? Yes. Yeah, yeah pretty yeah. much. In a nutshell. Pretty accurate, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Without spoiling anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, non-spoiler. This is yes. our non-spoiler review. And uh, this Thursday or Friday, we're going to put up the spoiler review? We're going to put up the spoiler review on the Thursday preview opening night. Okay. Yes. Cool. So check back on both our channels for the spoiler review after you guys went to go see the movie and come and join the conversation. That's right. So what are my thoughts about the film? I loved it. I loved it. it. It was, okay, it was an action adventure, you know, uh, that feels kind of westerny a little bit, yeah. you know, kind of like watching Firefly or Serenity. Yeah. Um, and because this is a spin off, just like Rogue One, we don't get to see much of Jedi power yeah. or the Force choke <laughs> or, or any of the <laughs> no uh, lightsabers. No lightsabers, yes, or any of the, the things that make Star Wars saga, yeah. Star Wars saga appealing. Uh, so this is kind of like, okay, guys, this is, you know, Luke Skywalker and all his troubles, and look this way. Yeah. <laughs> this is Han Solo. <laughs> We're gonna bring you to this side of yeah. the of the of the story for now. Um, so that's what the spinoff uh, provides. And I, I, I got to tell you, John, I had a bit reservation when they cast Alden Ehrenreich mm -hmm. as Han Solo, yeah. uh, but he grew on me as I watched the uh, the screening. Yeah. I was like, okay, this guy's got charm. He's got you know charisma. He's got you know a, um, a, a a way that's not necessarily trying to emulate or imitate Harrison Ford. Yeah. You know he does his own spin. I like that. He's still cool. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> we don't get to see the vest. <laughs> oh yeah, not, not yet. At least. <laughs> not yet. Yeah. So so, but you know, kudos to the costume department. He's, he still looks good. Yeah. Uh, and the rest of the cast too. I, I love Donald Glover as Lando. He's got that swag and attitude that Billy D. Williams got. Yeah. Um, so, and, and there's some surprises in this film that which we won't reveal here in the yeah. non-spoiler review. But overall, uh, I like the new the new droid as well. Um, oh yeah, yeah. And it's and I told John about this before we started this video is that I love also that that this is a heist kind of movie. Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, Rogue One is a different kind of heist. This is well, this one is a heist where where it's it's more between the characters yeah uh, and and you don't know who's gonna pull the strings you don't know who's playing who yeah. and so there's gonna be a lot of surprises and twists from around every corner and i i think even though it says solo a star wars story there's also this this team that's going on and they're exactly. trying to trying to find their rhythm to work together um, so it's it's bigger than just Han Solo, yeah. you know. So that's what I like about it. And I like the direction. I I don't know exactly where, because you know Phil Lord and Chris Miller got fired, and then Ron Howard stepped oh, in. Yeah. So I don't know where Phil Lord and Chris Miller ended, and where Ron Howard, you know, started. You know. Yeah, it seems the, like seamless, right? Like it's... exactly, right? Like you can't tell, right? Yeah. 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 Like it's like it's as if Ron Howard just picked it, picked up the baton. And ran with it and made yeah. it made it made it work somehow. So exactly. overall, I just had a, had a blast blaster blast watching this movie. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> no pun intended. So I highly recommend it. That's my short review of 
non-spoiler review of yeah. Solo, a Star Wars story. I throw the ball to you. Bro. Yeah, no, uh, I I can't agree with you more, Rama. Um, to be honest, I mean, I I've, I've been open about this, and I, I don't know if I talked with you about it that I wasn't really looking forward to Solo. Like I was just kind of oh. like, you know, if they're gonna make a spinoff or something, maybe like another character or something. Uh, but you know what? Slowly, slowly, like I started to see more trailers, and I was like, you know what? I, I just want a fun adventure with Han Solo, Chewie, and everybody else that we we've known, and all the new characters as well. And man, when we went to the screening, and thank you for that, by the way. No worries, brother. <laughs> um, yeah, I was just blown away. Like all my expectations were blown through the roof. I came <laughs> up loving this movie, you know. Um, and I feel like uh, Alden Ehrenreich and and uh, Donald Glover. They were, they were, I, I thought they were going to kind of come off as playing, uh, kind of like parodying them or not parodying them, kind of oh, doing imitations of them. Yes, exactly. But I just saw nothing but, but, uh, Han Solo and Lando, you know what I'm saying? That's why I thought they Agreed. did a great job in that aspect. Uh, it was cool to see Chewie there, you know? Um, like you said, I really like that aspect of, of the highest kind of, like you said to like Ocean's Eleven type of feel of the mm -hmm. movie. Uh, Cause yeah, Rogue One was a bit more like a war film as well. Yes, that's true. Um, and there is a small aspect to that here, but it's more of a like a heist, more specific yes. film. And um, yeah, it was fun. It was funny. Um, there's a lot, not too much jokes, you know. It was, it was it had some um, some stakes, and yeah, there's some twists and turns and stuff like that. Some surprises. Uh, one in particular that you know, kind of, I'm pretty sure everybody's going to be talking about, but we won't talk about that here. And uh, yeah, I just just everything about the film. It was a pleasant surprise. I can't wait to go see it again next week. And um, yeah, um, the score too. Oh. I love the score. They brought back the some original uh, John Williams stuff for some scenes, which was made it feel more epic and just the uh, action and the just everything um, they did in that aspect. Like the whole train sequence was was amazing. Oh, so good. Um, and then when uh, I don't want to give too much plot specific things, but. Um, they're kind of a chase as well, you know, in space flying, you know, and he kind of takes command of the ship, you know, uh, it was, it was just amazing. It was just uh, everything you love from Star Wars, like a fun adventure, I feel like was there in this film, you know? Yeah. And by the way, we're filming this, uh, John's location. Yeah. Right? This is and, uh, the, the, the infamous Real Talk Studios. <laughs> and so John, I want to thank you for letting me park my Millennium oh, Falcon out there. Oh yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't move a couple speeders out of the way, but you know, it's all right, man. <laughs> By the way, I want to bring that up before we yeah. forget. Uh, the way, like I said earlier, the way they introduce how uh, Han Solo meets Chewbacca, how oh, yeah. Han Solo gets his blaster, how Han Solo encounters Millennium Falcon. Yeah, you know, those, these, those are some exactly. Gonna... These are some moments that are like, all right, oh, I'm glad we get to see how that happened. Yeah, exactly. You know, we wanted to all this time we watched, you know, over the years Star Wars movies like, oh. Like, if only they showed us, to, showed it to us. Yeah. You know, if only, like, I want to see that. And now they're showing that to us. I'm like, oh. Or and, maybe you didn't yeah. feel like you wanted to. Uh, uh, but then you're, you're pleasant as friends. Okay, cool. Like, I didn't know I wanted to see this. You know? Yes, yes. Now we're, like, glad. <laughs> yeah. See, yeah. Exactly. And, and uh, it, it's not all smooth sailing, the, oh, yeah. the encounter, <laughs> especially how... Uh, uh, how Han Solo finally got uh, control of the Millennium Falcon. It's, it's pretty entertaining. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I won't reveal it to you here, but it's it's done in in a very you know fun way. Yeah. You know, exactly. like you know, I was like, oh, I didn't know that's how the blaster got together. Yeah. You know, like, I had no idea. <laughs> I didn't know it, they could do that or something. <laughs> exactly. Wow, that's tricky. Yeah. <laughs> so, so a spare, kudos on the writer's part. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. And then another thing I just yeah. remembered. Um, that uh, obviously Amelia Clark is in this movie yes. from Game of Thrones, uh, uh, such a pretty woman. <laughs> love her, love her. Um, but yeah, I thought she was going to be distracting in, in sort of the fact that like, I could only see Khaleesi in, oh, in this film. That's true. But I thought she did a good job in playing her character. I, I I saw that character. I didn't see her or Khaleesi. She did a good job in, in bringing this character to the screen. And um, yeah, I was really glad that that happened. You know. Yeah. It could have been easily distracted, but. Now, uh, as, as we're winding down, uh, I just want to also say, without spoiling anything, because we're yeah. going to save that for the spoiler review, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I think they really captured the essence of Han Solo. Yeah. Um, the Han Solo that uh, we grew up watching you know, over the years uh, that Harrison Ford portrayed. I think Alden did a great job. Yeah. Um, and as I said earlier, it's not trying to, like you said, it not trying to imitate yeah, or, or exactly. trying to emulate. He does his own spin. And, and so he's always you know, conflicted or trapped between, I want to do my own thing. I want to, you know, uh, make money with gangsters. I want to smuggle yeah. things. 
between that and his idealism. Yeah. Because there's always like a part of him is like, oh, I gotta help these guys. Yeah, exactly. You know, I gotta help because there's a good guy part of him. Yeah. You know, he's not like, like oh. we saw in the original trilogy. Like, exactly. That we saw that struggle with it, him. You know. Exactly. It's like, oh, I don't care about this whole thing. Yeah. It's like, oh, fine, I'll help you. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, so they they have that in there. Yeah. And and, and that's what makes his character or. Han Solo, very iconic, and I love that yes. they keep that. All right, guys, so uh, that was our kind of quick thoughts and review, and uh, we're going to get to our scores. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I got nothing but what I expected from this movie, a little bit more as well. Uh, I love seeing uh, um, Aaron Wright and Glover portray Han and Lando. Just everything about this film, just nothing but fun, entertaining uh, time at the movie. So I think I'd have to give it an 8 out of 10, a solid 8 out of 10. I can't wait to see it again. That's right. And I couldn't agree more. It's fantastic rating. Um, I want to give it maybe four bags of chips out of five. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, 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 I'm very hungry. That's yeah. why <laughs> I use chips. <laughs> but, uh, but I agree with you, brother. Yeah. It's just, it's one of those movies that just wants to, wants, wants to make you to have fun. Yeah, with exactly. it, you know, it's not. There's no other secret agenda behind it. Like, yeah. there's no, there's no epic saga over it or anything like that. It's just like, hey, let's just sit down and have a blast. Exactly. Yeah. So that's it. That's our non-spoiler review. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> of Solo, a Star Wars story. Make sure you subscribe to Rama Screen Channel. Yeah, and, and uh, the real talk, uh, real spelled R E E L, and then just talk, talk. That's right. <laughs> and ring the notification bell on both our channels so you can get notified whenever we upload new videos. Exactly. And let's wrap this. Yep. <laughs>